resisting chocolate is tough for everybody. And postdoctoral researcher Alexandra De Felice Antonio led a study to find out why. As you start to eat chocolate, there's this increase in this chemical that actually makes you want to keep eating and eat more. Yep, just a taste of chocolate triggers a brain chemical called enkephalin that tells you to eat more and more and more. For all you chocolate addicts, nutritionist Jolene Goring has a list of ways to get that sweet monkey off your back. Number one, switch to dark chocolate. If you're thinking, yeah, sure, heard that before, check this out. This square has six teaspoons of sugar in it. So if you eat that chocolate, that's how much sugar you're eating. You're destroying milk chocolate for me, and I find that very cruel. And milk chocolate was not her only target. What is white chocolate? Fat and sugar and chemicals. <gasps> There's no nutritional value whatsoever. None? None. So if you're going to enjoy chocolate, why not have something that's got antioxidants, it's anti-aging, it's got so many good things for your body. Right. And it tastes richer, so you're only going to want a little bit. This is like taking your daily vitamin. In the form of a chocolate yeah. square. But how do you resist the deliciousness of white and milk chocolate? Number two, reframe your thinking. Instead of don't have that chocolate, think about what else you want to do. Is it watching TV? Is it having a bath? Is it reading a book? Is it going shopping? Anything, but just shift your focus and then your craving should go away. So don't say, I'm not going to have chocolate. Say, I am going to have a bath. Yes. In chocolate. Sure, as long as you don't eat it. <laughs> if after all of that, you still can't say no. Number three, make a deal with yourself. If you're going to have chocolate, you can say, you know what, I'm going to work out for 20 minutes before I eat that chocolate. Dealing with your chocolate cravings on The Breakdown.